It's been two days since Hosu, and five days since Class 1A started our internships. This amazing freshman because year just keeps rolling on. Stain aren't fully healed yet. I'm stuck at the hospital. At some point, he's just gonna get used to this. These extended hospital stays. The story being reported is that yeah. seven pro heroes and three high school students stumbled upon him. It's sad, but the attention to it will just make it worse. The chief was true to his word. Me, Ida, and Todoroki were never named in connection to the hero killer. The chief is a good man. Woof. He ended up going back home to his parents' house. Oh, I don't split up the gang. I love them together, but it makes sense. Back to your dad's agency? I still want to learn. Man, I just love this like this conviction, this focus Besides, from Todoroki. They're saying he defeated the hero killer even though it was actually his son who helped out. I want to see if there's any shame on his face. <laughs> yeah, don't miss an opportunity to twist the knife into dad. That should be fun. I wonder how everyone else is doing. Me too. What's best genus up to, I wonder? <laughs> Why was that my first thought? I don't know. What's Mineta up to? We haven't seen him in a very long time. Is he still vacuuming? I'm realizing at this moment how much I'm enjoying these internships. <laughs> how good Momo's hair must be at this point. And Bakugo's hair, for that matter. How much chivalry have Tetsu Tetsu and Kirishima learned? You know a show is fun when you, you love the villain action, but you're also okay with the slice of life stuff. I want to see them grow as teenagers through exploration of different industries and trades. Everyone's internships. It's oddly communal title. That means they could be fielding bolder. This may just be a patrol. There he is, the man himself. Gone. Look at his hair! Yeah. I can't help myself. Patrols are mainly meant to deter villains from committing any crimes. But they also have a secondary purpose. What is it? I got this. I got this. To show off our outfits. <laughs> is that not it? No, it might be something like showing the people that we're around to make them feel good. Role models, images, all that, but also showing off our outfits. If we see some bad guys, we can beat them up on the spot. Mm -hmm. Incorrect. It's very Bakugo answer. The showing. The answer is to remind people who we are. Off. Our presence gives the public a peace of mind. Our outfits. <laughs> he almost cried like a baby. <laughs> what did you say? <laughs> Have you really forgotten everything I've taught you? I love how his hair reverted too. Nice jeans though. Sometimes a hero has to pretend he's been caught. <laughs> he's trying. You don't you know. think never laugh at me again if you know what's good for you! Okay, he stopped trying. I feel like a more inspiring message would be like, sometimes heroes fail, you know? Doesn't in some way this image of perfection that they're always displaying mislead people a bit? It's interesting. It's so complex. Like, there's a lot to this hero idea, this, this ideal thing. Like, striving for ideals. I deeply admire this process of, like, looking at someone in, in adoration or adulation and then thinking, well, what is it about that person that I like so much? And then trying to extract out of that things to aim at for oneself. That's such a fulfilling thing for me personally and is largely one of the reasons why I watch these shows and why I love talking about heroes and awesome characters and amazing perfect people like Erwin, you know, so I can just extract these things out and try to live up to them. But I feel like there's a very important element that's somewhat missing here, which is that no one is perfect and you don't want to make people saints. You don't want to worship the person necessarily. You want to worship the qualities that that person often exhibits in specific instances. You get into a mess when it becomes about the person being perfect because first of all, when they do things wrong, you can't accept it because you're attached to the person now. It also means having unreasonable standards for oneself. Like part of growth for me, part of becoming heroic, let's call it, is found through the taking on of nearly impossible challenges. And so as a result of that, failure is inevitable. You just hope that failure is not the full story. It's just like you have a lot of failures on, on the way there. So I feel like you got to make room for that failure. Otherwise, it becomes a deterrent when you have this ideal and you're not living up to that ideal. You end up in this place of despair and feeling like it's impossible for you when actually it just means that we haven't gotten there yet. I mean, Bakugo is not the best representative of like nuanced views right now, but it's just something I'm thinking about with this whole image thing in general in the show. Uh, he has too much pride. It would be one pride? thing to no. all that passion. Bakugo? But at this rate, he could turn out quite poorly. He walks a, a fine line, I guess. Let's start with how you'd fight against someone wielding a blade. Shoot him. There's no need to hold back. That is something you'd say, isn't it? All you gun heroes. <laughs> Plant one leg and use it to pivot and dodge. Then, grab your wrist and back at the same time. I love how easily he does it. Down. See how I did that? She felt how you did that. Make sure you kick it away for your own safety. So, <laughs> easy peasy, right? He's actually pretty peaceful. All my His gun jokes aside. Were so fluid. Yeah, These he's relaxed. These martial arts are amazing. Shows the right mentor, I guess. This time, how about I hold the knife? We'll keep oh. on repeating this until it's <laughs> The calmness with which he said that, it's amazing. I knew it! Um, 
This is her version of a patrol. They just love getting to meet a famous pro. Patrol this fan meeting, am I right? Got it, Mr. Fourth Kind, sir. I can't hear you! Got it, Mr. Fourth Kind, sir! Yes, chivalry is best done at full force. Not a problem. Let's go. We're pro heroes. These two are actually like getting hands-on experience with villains. <laughs> We're saved! Thank you so much, hero! <laughs> nice. What, no Mineta? All right. Oh, it's good to see Sue. I always figured being a hero would be super glamorous. But then I discovered it was a lot of patrols and cleaning up. I even had to do laundry, which meant washing the captain's underwear. There's no escape from that. But after becoming the captain's sidekick, I figured something out. I realized what was actually important when it came to being a hero. Oh, really? What was it? I'm Let all you ears. tell me? Oh, it'll be better if you find it out for yourself. Aw. <laughs> But a good teacher though. There's something so real about that for me. Like one thing I, I've come to think is there's no escape from difficulty. You know, there's no escape from like some kind of grind-like elements. You just hope that there's something in that for you that makes you feel alive enough that the grind becomes tolerable, or if you're lucky, maybe even fun. But to think that there's this perfect occupation or perfect solution that will be totally different from whatever current occupation that we have, it's an illusion. It's gonna be the same in many ways. This may be the wrong show for this, but I, I think a lot about freedom. Like, freedom has always been my stated goal. And before, I think what that meant to me was I don't have to do anything difficult or burdensome. But now I realize that I will always have to do things that are difficult or burdensome because almost all great things that make me feel like I'm really living require sacrifices that are great and burdensome. And so the key to being free is not to have nothing to do, but to choose the right things, choose the right struggle that makes me happy to put up with those things for what they bring me as an individual. And when I had that thought, I suddenly felt free in a way I had never felt before because now I can just sort of accept it you know, accept that it's going to be difficult and try to bring my best to that, my best spirit and my best perspective so that I'm appreciating it, you know, appreciating the opportunities that I have and the wonderful things I have in my life that, you know, might at times still feel like a grind, but overall make me feel grateful. And I'm sure being a hero is no different. And in fact, I think the show started with that, with All Might sort of being worn out and burned out with the daily grind, with the, the terrible suffering he has to go through in his physical state, but having his passion relighted because of Deku. Shouldn't a frog be jumping to get her work done? And I thought I told you to keep on top of her, Sirius. Don't you slack either. I finished cleaning the deck, Captain Sir. And oh. I'm totally supervising her properly. They were having a good talk. Guess I jumped to conclusions. Sorry about that, lady. <laughs> I apologize. My bad. All these wholesome fakeouts. Forgive me. I'm too cute for words, aren't I, Frappy? Yeah, she's dumb. That's one way to put it. But trying to look cute like that doesn't work. <laughs> I don't know. It kind of the contrast kind of works, no? But he had like pink stars and stuff. <laughs> oh, that was a little weird. Hey, you're good at this. She's just a natural. Very talented hero from the beginning. Hear that, sailors? Emergency departure. Oh, this guy is a true man of the sea. Nice. I'm down for a Adventures of Sue episode. Everyone's internship, everyone's enjoyment. Officials inspected the ship, but they didn't find any stowaways. This is a very beefy crew. <laughs> Upon further investigation, though, they discovered that important cargo from the ship's freight list was missing possible that the stowaways had plants on the ship. She's going places. <laughs> so embarrassing. I don't know, I kind of like it. Yeah, yeah, I'm with Sue on this one. We will deliver them to the Coast Guard. I have a small hunch that this is connected to the larger villain plot. This might seem like just a routine thing, but... Let me hear you, sailors! Aye, 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 sir. This suit's pretty badass, too. Hey. Oh, Selkie. His quirk, spotted Selkie. Spotted seal. He can do pretty much anything a spotted seal can. That's a lot. <laughs> they aren't anywhere around here. Guess I'll have to wipe my search. But can he balance a beach ball on his nose? <laughs> this is our chance. Turn off the lights and get close without letting them know where I love their relationship. Oh, She's such a good, like, big sis type. We found the boat. I don't think they've spotted us. Good. Could be a trap. Don't get too comfortable. Even though we're only up against some stowaways, this could still be dangerous. Right, right. So Very we have wise. to follow the captain's orders. We'll support them together. It's kind of a villain's world right now. We're growing into one. We're here on behalf of the Coast Guard. We will now inspect your vessel. Something's wrong. It's just a bunch of fish down there. Then open the hatch and let's <laughs> see. <laughs> then the I especially want you to open the hatch. Seal that I am. 
It's too dark to see anything clearly. Oh no. Can't you turn on the lights? <laughs> Told you not to get too comfortable. It'll be easier for Boss Innsmouth to do what he needs to do now. I think this means our job here is complete. See ya! But you weren't counting on his... Captain! Sue and Sirius. Sirius! Her quirk! Good, good ear. ear. She can hear high She's like my grandma. <laughs> Talking to my good ear. The stowaways. Different boat. Did they just do seal Morse code? Shouldn't we rescue the captain and the others? The captain is relying on us to follow his orders. Plus, there's fish down there, allegedly. He'll be all right. Do you have faith, Froppy? In the captain? And in us? Can you bring the guard over to us? Leave it to me. No, no, no! You guys, we're... Why do they all look like this? Are they like a big, big family of weird squid quirks? Oh, damn. That quirk escalated. A villain. And here I thought I'd gotten away with it. How do you know he's a villain? Our transmission was blocked. We're still stuck on the fishing boat. The captain made it out. Now the thing's on your end. Tell me your status. <laughs> yeah, what's your status? Currently getting tentacled. If you value this woman's life, then repeat after me. Unfortunately, no pressure, Sue. We weren't able to track down the stowaways. Uh? Robbie, don't do it! Get to it. The big, big moment. The captain is relying on us to follow his orders. If we believe in him, then we trust in his <laughs> course of action. Very well timed memory voiceover. The stowaways are at the double rocks. Thank you, Sue. Very heroic. I'll have to teach both of you a lesson. <laughs> Is it because of like a genetic thing where they're all just born with the same quirk? It's over. <laughs> Damn. Well, thanks to you, I'm still here. <laughs> you two did a great job. I feel like she could just quit school now and just get hired by this guy. Captain. <laughs> <laughs> It works. You really are hopeless. Give him a break. I'm really glad I had the chance to come to this internship. Huh? I bet they're glad too. You just saved everyone. Well, that's nice. Yeah, Sue got really lucky there. This was a very serendipitous internship because Sue is just an amazing person. And this crew happens to be really great as well. They're very well matched. It's funny how much of these things are just social. You know, it comes down to the same things that everything else comes down to, which is like how well you get along with people and how good of a fit you are and whether the people you meet are on the level that you need them to be, you know? In my, what I'd call extensive work experience, I think that's always what has made the difference in my experience of, of the thing. The other people that are involved with it that I have to interact with. On a totally separate and stranger note, what is dating like <laughs> for some of these people born with these like physical quirks, does that not perhaps create some challenges? Are people not sometimes driven into villainy because of their physical appearance? Or this is just a much less aesthetically demanding society. One or the other. We were able to recover all the illegal drugs that we're trying to bring in. It was just drugs? It's not a big deal. Robbie may not have her license yet, but she's an excellent hero. I'd stake my name on that. <laughs> And good teachers as well. Hope to see you soon, Froppy. You'll be seeing a lot of Froppy. I guarantee it. Good, she deserves it. That's it? Wow. I admire the hell out of them for giving us the Sue episode. It's sort of a bold choice taking us away from Midoriya and Todoroki, but it ended up being a lot of fun. That's why I thought there would be a connection between this and the larger villainous plot, and it turned out to just be like, I don't know. Drugs, ooh! <laughs> <laughs> Which I guess is just convenient shorthand for bad things. So in the absence of that, I guess the importance is just like, one, building Sue's character, which makes me hopeful that we'll see more of her soon. And just, you know, adding to basic tenets of heroism. Although I don't feel like I have a defined enough idea of what Sue actually learned in this episode. I guess there are a couple elements to it. Like one is that she followed instructions. She followed instructions from those who are licensed and more experienced, which is something that the, the three male characters of the hospital did not do. And also the fact that she made a difficult choice to kind of adhere to like a heroic code of stopping the villain rather than her immediate concern for those around her when those people are perfectly willing to have harm befall them in order to uphold their values. I think for now I'll just have to keep this 
event in mind, see how it plays into the larger story and to sue. So that's the end of this episode. I'll see you guys next time when I really hope we uh, continue the streak of having cute animal hero characters. <laughs>